Hey everybody, Darren Voros here. Today I'm gonna to share some effective techniques to help you keep your real estate investing business organized. In my experience, staying organized increases productivity tremendously, and that frees up more time to do other tasks that will help grow your business, such as purchasing additional properties and building important relationships. It also unlocks more free time to enjoy life outside of your business. We also can't forget that poor organization can lead directly to some dire consequences for your business. You could fall behind on bills, lose track of your accounting, accidentally make business decisions based on outdated information. The list goes on and on and on. And all of these things could result in damage to your reputation, lost business opportunities, penalties, and many other negative experiences that you really don't want to go through as a business owner. So if you want to get organized and stay organized to accelerate your real estate investing business growth, then you've come to the right place. Make sure you stay to the end of the video for the most indispensable tip that has helped me stay organized consistently over the years. If you're new to me and my channel, I cover three main subjects, real estate investing strategies, tips and techniques, renovation and construction, and financial literacy. If you haven't done so already, you can subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, and please feel free to leave comments and questions below for me. And now, let's get into it. A book that really transformed the way I organize my real estate investing business is The E-Myth by Michael Gerber. It points out that franchises are self-sufficient, lead-generating, client-converting, customer-satisfying machines, and that any small business can reap the same rewards by designing systems to get work done and produce consistent results. If you want to build a scalable business, systems are vital. And this is because they clearly define how things are done in your business. So no matter who performs the task, it will always be performed well. Running your business like a franchise effectively frees business owners from their business. So ask yourself, if you stepped away from your business, could it keep operating? If not, you may need to make adjustments to your system. So I'll show you the systems that I recommend to keep your real estate investing business organized. Now, not all of these systems are perfect, but trust me, I continuously work towards perfecting these systems because the benefits they can bring to the business completely outweigh the effort that I put into them. First, I wanna discuss the basic equipment I use in my business. The good news is almost every element of my business can be performed on my computer and my smartphone. And I'm gonna go ahead and assume that you have both of those because you know, it's 2021. As much as I'd like to get rid of it, I still find I need a printer and a scanner to print and digitize important documents. That brings me to the first organization system you need to have for your real estate investing business, a filing system. Choose a logical and consistent way to organize your files. This allows you and others to easily locate and use them. Personally, I create a folder for each property and each potential purchase, as well as for each corporation that I own. You can choose digital, physical, or both, depending on your personal preferences. But the bottom line is that using a filing system of folders helps save time searching for documents in the future. And when it comes to documents that need to be shared with my business partners, we always set up a shareable drive. This ensures that our documents are in a centralized location that everyone can access. And having them all in one place ensures that we're always looking at the same, most up-to-date version of that document. As you can imagine, this saves a lot of time and prevents a lot of confusion. You can use popular cloud storage solutions like Google Drive, Dropbox, or iCloud to achieve this. I'm a fan of Google Drive as of late as I find it's the most flexible and affordable solution. A second way you can keep your business organized is using software to automate some of the organizing activities you need to perform. Business software applications are designed to increase productivity and perform basic business functions accurately through automation. So first you need to find the right software application for your business. Then you need to ensure that your partners and your staff know how to use them effectively. For example, you can use deal analysis software such as DealCheck or Real Smart Deal instead of maintaining a bunch of spreadsheets to analyze property. Accounting software like QuickBooks can really help organize your bookkeeping and accounting needs. I'm going to talk about that in a second. And it goes without saying that online banking can be a huge asset to your business. I'm also going to show you how I set up each one of my bank accounts and the way that I automate things to help me stay on top of my banking needs. Software like DocuSign and Signaturely can help accelerate your business by allowing you to send and sign documents from practically anywhere at any time. It also gives you instant status visibility, so you'll always know where your agreement is in the signing process. These pieces of software provide reusable templates to help you save time and standardize your processes. 
and they help you collect the details you need by adding mandatory fields in your agreements like signature or date. There are so many other pieces of software out there that can help you run your business, so find the ones that work for you and implement them as soon as you possibly can. The third organization system you should implement to your business relates to how you should set up your banking. I recommend setting up a dedicated bank account for each property that you own. I also suggest having a credit card dedicated for each corporation that you own. If one corporation owns multiple properties, you can use one card for that corporation. If you own properties in your personal name, I would suggest having one dedicated card for just your real estate portfolio. This will help keep your business finances organized and separate from your personal finances. The bank accounts can be with your current financial institution or the one that holds your mortgage. I suggest trying to coordinate with one financial institution and keep all of your accounts there as it makes things much easier. I also have a separate account that I set aside for damage deposits and last month's rent to ensure that the money is only used for those specific purposes. The fourth organization system I suggest is setting up automatic payments for everything. Utilities, property tax, bill payments. I set up automatic payments for all of them. This way, I don't have to worry so much about keeping track of what needs to be paid and whether or not I've paid them on time. And because these bills are always paid on time automatically, I avoid any unnecessary late fees. Many of my bills are paperless e-bills, but when paper bills do come in, I scan them right away and store them so they never get lost. This fifth system will help you with rent payments. I usually collect rent payments via e-transfer, I recommend setting up a dedicated email address to collect rent payments. I give access to this email address to my property manager so they can see when rent payments come in, but I prefer to make the deposits into my accounts for simplicity and security. Unlike other email addresses which are used for a variety of communication, these dedicated email addresses are very clean and organized and easy to keep track of. Another system that is becoming increasingly popular is allowing your tenants to pay their rent via credit card. You can use a monthly subscription through various platforms and some property management software now allows rent payments through credit card processing. I have a commerce package with Squarespace for my website and it allows me to set up monthly subscriptions. I could set this up to allow my tenants to enter in their credit card details and then the system will automatically charge their credit card on a set date. The downside to this is you'll pay credit card processing fees of about 3%. So your net revenue will be lower each month, but you won't have to chase your tenants for rent every month and they get to collect loyalty points for paying rent. Win, win. The sixth organizational tool I use is my calendar. It's important to set up automatic reminders for rent increases, your tenants' birthdays and gifts, yearly safety inspections, maintenance items like furnace filter changes, and so much more. To do this, it's best to use a calendar application that syncs your calendar across all your devices, such as Google Calendar, Outlook, or iCloud. That way, you won't need to re-enter all of your reminders and appointments on each device manually. The seventh organization system is for your accounting. If you don't enjoy dealing with the day-to-day -day finances of your business, it may be worthwhile to hire a bookkeeper. The bookkeeper will be responsible for keeping your business's financial information up to date and well organized. But whether you handle your business finances on your own or hire a bookkeeper, it always pays off to keep your financial information organized. This way you can easily retrieve it when you need to refer to it. I keep separate folders for documents such as mortgage statements, T5s, and property taxes. This will prove especially useful when tax season comes along and when you need to apply for financing. For accounting, there are so many great options out there, but by far the most popular is QuickBooks. I suggest setting up QuickBooks Online accounts for each of your corporations. With QuickBooks Online, you can upload receipts, reconcile monthly transactions, perform employee payroll, and invoice various suppliers. One of my favorite features of QuickBooks is the ability to sync it with your bank account so that QuickBooks automatically pulls your information from your bank each month to your accounts. From there, you can set up recurring items, which makes keeping track and staying organized for your accountant at the end of the year so much easier. And here's my final tip for staying organized inside of your business. 
Set up time in your calendar to stay organized. Sometimes work comes in waves and when you get extremely busy, there's a higher risk of deviating from the organizational systems you've worked so hard to build. You might start to think that you need to accomplish certain tasks now and then you'll have more time later to organize everything. But at that point, it becomes all too easy to continue to neglect organization. So to make sure that you stick with your organization system, set up time in your calendar to stay organized. You should set up your time in fixed recurring intervals like daily, weekly, or monthly. This will allow you to get a good sense of the time you need to devote to keeping your business organized. Then you'll also be less likely to accidentally commit to other events that conflict with your organization time. For example, you can set up some time on the first Saturday of each month to do your accounting and stick to it. So I'd like to know in the comments section below, do you use any of these organizational systems in your business? I'll be really interested to hear which systems are the most popular. I'll leave a link for all the products and services I've mentioned in this video as well in the description below. And if this video was helpful for you, do me a favor, go ahead and hit that like button. You can also subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and please feel free to leave comments and questions below for me. You can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, or check out my website at darrenboros.com or our new website at readydevelopments.ca, ready being spelled R-E-D-I. With all of that, I wanna say thank you guys so much for watching. I wish you the best of success on your real estate investing journey, and I look forward to hearing your success stories very soon.